Read it again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes. So God said if we don't do his commandments, who? Who is he talking to? He's talking to the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Our brothers and sisters that got gut down at the Dollar General, they were Israelites. The people of the slave trade, they are the Israelites. You understand that? We. Which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we all know that curse is a bad thing. God say bad stuff will happen to black folks if we don't keep his commandments. Bad stuff will happen. What's the worst thing y'all know happen to black people? Give me some examples. They get shot in the street by white people. They get shot in the street by white people. Good. That's a bad thing. It just happened. That's in the Bible. Verse 65. Sis, Bree, I'm going to show it to you. Bree. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 65. And among these nations. Among who? Among these nations. Who did God say we would be around since among who? Did you hear it? Among these nations. Good ill. Good ill. So anybody outside of the 12 tribes of Israel who was talking about. It said among these nations. Read. So they'll find no ease. Shall we do what? Find no ease. The Bible says we will find no ease as long as we are among all these nations. Right. Meaning what? Through slavery, we didn't have no ease. Right. Working sun up to sun down, we ain't got no ease. Right. Nine to fives, we ain't got no ease. Right. Right. And to this day, you could be shopping at Dollar General and get gunned down. That's no ease. Right. What do you think is going to happen to the younger generation knowing that history happened to him? Knowing the history of Jacksonville, of all the racism. The history of St. Augustine with the slave trade. Knowing our history as black folks, we have no ease here in America. We Neither. Shall the sole of thy foot have rest? What? Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Sis, I'm going to show you. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. I'm going to show you who we are, sis. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. There you go. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Excuse me. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All Israel. Since we the Israelites. Right. Where your father from? So are you so-called African American? He's black. So read it one time. Do you want me to try to one verse one? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are Israel. That's, That's right. who we are. But the thing is, right, have you ever been told you was Israel? No. Why? Because you're black. Watch this. Go to, Dharma, go to Jeremiah 17 and 4. Since black ain't a race. Like right, right. now, right? We said among these nations we ain't have no ease. If we packed up all the black folks in Jacksonville and Duval, right? Where the hell are we going? We ain't got nowhere to go, sis. You understand that? We ain't got nowhere to go. So if we were to say we was black, we should have a country we can identify with. But God says because we sin, right? We broke his commandments. Like stealing, killing, right? Killing, killing each other. Granted, what happened at the Dollar General, that was terrible. But how much black, how many times we kill each other? And we don't give Bring a damn. Out. Okay, well, other people kill each other too. White people kill each other all the time. That's a fact. That's a fact. But you know, I'm going to show you something that's different between us and them. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something that's different between us and them. Watch this. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Read out. And thou, even thyself. God said, even you, us. He said, what? Read. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. What? Discontinue from thine heritage. The Bible says us as a people will discontinue from our heritage. Meaning what? We won't know who we are. If you if you if we go in the store and ask every black person what race they is, I bet they give us different answers. Cause you know what? Through slavery, they divided us. You know what they got it? You know what they got in common that we don't got as black folks? Unity. 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 Right. They stick together. We don't give a damn about each other, sis. Right. If it ain't on the news or the TV, we don't care about the old lady down the street who got her house kicked in. We don't care about the older man who gets sold dope by the younger, the younger generation. You know what I'm saying? We don't care about each other because we've been so discontinued from our heritage. No, it's not that. It's the white man makes us The what? How? Like what? 
Drugs and guns. Okay, what else? Right. So, who who said that we had to take those drugs and guns? Nobody. Nobody. You see that, sis? Like for example, you married? You married, right? You have your your husband. Y'all got kids together. Your husband was the one that took your virginity. No. No. So look, all praises you married. The point I'm making is, y'all don't white folks got a hand in doing something. They put us in the ghettos. They redline us. They do all that. But at the end of the day. We do more harm to each other than any other race. I'm going to prove it. Huh? Hosea 13. I'm going to prove it to you, right? For example, when a woman be left as a single mama, all the single mamas in the hood that got drug dealers and gangbangers as kids, who made them single mamas? Black man or the white man? The black man. When it comes to murdering black babies. No, sis. No, no, sis, watch, watch this. Read. Hosea chapter 13. Hosea chapter 13 and verse 9. Oh, Israel. Oh, Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Thou hast destroyed thyself. Destroyed thyself. The Bible says we did it. We did it. Like, for example, you know where the most black people get killed from? What you think? What you think had to be the number one contributor in killing black people? Abortions. Abortions. Abortions killed more black people than the KKK, drugs, and gang violence combined. That's a statistic. So who, who does that? We us. Us. But why? Because we have forgotten who we are. We forgot how great we were. Like if I see you as a sister, I should have seen you as a piece of meat that I want to have sex with you. You understand? You shouldn't see me as just a regular nigga. We got to see each other as the 12 tribes. Why? Do I mean 7 and 6? Because if we see ourselves low, how the other nations going to look at us? Low. You understand? Because they ain't going to give a damn about us. If they say they don't care about their own people, why should we care about their lives? You see what I'm saying? Watch this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art and holy people. God says we holy. Means separate. We different. We special. Read. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God, have chosen thee to be a special people. God said he chose us to be special. If you had to find something was special, where do you think it would be at? If somebody was giving you something special, if you, if you wanted to give your husband a special gift, how would you hide it from him? Would you put it in the garbage bag? No. No, what would you do? I would lie and say that. Oh, God damn, sis, you can't be lying out here. You would decorate is what I'm going into. You make sure it's nice, right? That's your husband, you love him. What? Read. 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 A special people unto himself. Above all people. Above all people. Above all people. The Bible says the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are above all people. Right. Right. But do we act like that? First Timothy 2 and 9. Give me an example. No, yeah, you can take it off. Breathe. How, how, how don't we uh how don't we act like we above all people? What do we do? But what did God say? That's true. They hate us. They hate our guts. That's a fact. But how do we get in this condition? Was it them just automatically hating us or did we do something? What did we do? Okay. Okay. And most importantly, we stop believing in our God. Our God isn't a Caucasian man. Jesus Christ is a black man. No, he ain't say that. The Bible don't say that. He got woolly hair. He got woolly hair. Yeah, your hair is woolly, but they say he had dreads. And guess what? Watch this read. First Timothy 2 and 9. It's the book of First Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. And like matter also, that women, women adorn themselves. What does it mean to adorn, sis? To put on, all right, let women do what? Adorn themselves in modest apparel. What does modest apparel mean? Now, what it mean? Sis, I'm going to be real with you. We out here trying to help our people from the situation that just happened. And I don't see a damn thing funny with you, to be honest with you. Ain't nothing funny. 
Because guess what? What's stopping you from being the next person being gunned down? Or somebody you love? You got to get your mind right, sis. You understand that? Read it one more time. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. First step for you to get your mind right, sis, is you got to put on clothes as a princess. Right. that's what you are. So if you don't want the other nations to look at us low, we got to dress what? High. We got to behave high. Like they say, dress for the job you want. Right? You want to be a princess in the kingdom with Christ? Or do you want to be the next uh, victim of white supremacy? You got to act like that. You got to dress like that. You see what I'm saying? First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. So we can't come out here and take nothing that's no joke. Because slavery, us getting uh, gunned down, molested, and murdered for the last few hundred years we've been here, it ain't no joke. Right. It ain't nothing funny about that. Right. Like, for example, you smoke? No, I don't. You do any type of drugs? No, Drink alcohol? I do. Okay. Don't get drunk. That's cool. Don't get drunk. Go to that real quick, Rick. First Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? What? That the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? The Bible says the Spirit of God dwells in us. Right? John 6, chapter verse 60, uh, John 6, verse 63. What's the Spirit that's supposed to be in us? It's God's commandments. You understand? God's commandments. What's going to stop the murder? God's commandments. What's going to stop the gangbanging? It's God's commandments. Right. First and foremost... You got to understand you're not black. You, you were Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's right. That's your race. That's where you come from. That's your history. And if you don't take yourself serious, your race serious, nobody on this earth going to take you serious. Right. Nobody. You can even see it with men. You think a man will, will marry a woman that sleep with a bunch of men? No. No. Would a woman marry a man that sleep with a bunch of men? But they shouldn't. You understand? Like men are. What are you doing to make sure that your people are safe? Are you contributing to the problem or are you contributing to the solution? Um, I contributed to the solution. How? Um, I have two businesses. Okay, all praises. Doing what? I have a cleaning business. Uh huh. That's good. And I have a t shirt business. That's good. That's good. Now, 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 what solutions does that provide? That's good. Don't get me twisted. I ain't trying to diminish that. That's good. But how does that help our people in the condition we're in? Good. We need jobs. We need jobs. What hat you at? Perfect. Read. It's the book of John, chapter 6 and verse 63. Bring it out. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that are speaking to you, they are spirit. The words in the Bible are the spirit that we're supposed to have in us. Read it at the top again because it's something important in there. Read. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. This flesh, the stuff we do in this world, is not going to profit us in the end goal. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we here for breaking God's commandments. So if we're in the condition for breaking God's commandments, what's the solution? Doing God's commandments. Like, for example, it was a, it's a commandment that women dress how and what? In modest apparel. In modest apparel. Meaning what? Not showing sexual attention. Right. right? Your body... Should be for your husband. That's real. I'm just keeping it honest with you. Right? Your husband, think about it. Your husband wouldn't want everybody looking in the mirror at you while you're getting dressed. So our sisters come outside half dressed. You see what I'm saying? Well, because it's so hot. Oh, really? Look at this picture. These are your ancestors. When we, when, when, when we didn't keep the commandments and we made excuses, they was picking cotton in dresses. Real! Yeah. That ain't no excuse. Your ancestors did it. And you love your people, right? And you ain't no better than your ancestors. No. We ain't. We are our ancestors. We are people. Right. So we got to keep the commandments. I guess it's a mindset. That's why I said you got to change your mind, sis. We got to change our mind as a people. Read it again. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Read. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Huh? In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel huh? with shamefacedness. What? With shamefacedness. You know what that means with shamefacedness? No. Not being in every man's face. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Like right now, we your brothers, we give you the Bible. But on a traditional uh, uh, encounter with men, you ain't supposed to be smiling all in men's faces. That's not being shamefaced. Right. Right? Because what could that do to the man could make him think you what? A hoe. Oh, good, good. A hoe. It could. Right? Read. With shamefacedness and sobriety. Not what? With sobriety. What? And sobriety. You got to be sober. Sober-minded. Sober-minded. Meaning what? We're focused out here in this world. 
Why? Because as you admitted, Bree, people hate us. People hate our guts. Why would you be walking down the street in this earth knowing people hate you and your mind ain't on a swivel? You see what I'm saying, Reed? Not with broided hair uh -huh. or gold uh -huh. or pearls or costly array. A what? Or costly array. Like you was talking about the Gucci, the Fendi, and all that garbage. God I say it ain't about that. It's about you dressing like a princess and having your mind on point. Keeping God's commandments. Now you can braid your hair, but the point of it is don't let your beauty be the only thing you good for. Right. That's the point. Right. Don't be known for just how you look. Be known for what you think, for how you love your people, how you keep God's commandments. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Is you. And finally, my brother, be strong.